We continue with you here on Game Time, a look at the Western Conference Finals and the schedule. And you'll have plenty of time to watch it all as they spread things out nicely. You can take a nap between games uh, two and three as we finally get ready here for the Warriors and the Rockets. Let's look at how things have gone so far this season. We haven't really seen everybody full throttle. No Iggy in the first one. Rockets take care of the Warriors. Uh, KD there. Then Steph is here, but guess what? No KD. Also no Harden not playing. Warriors take down the Rockets by 10. And then finally, you've got the Rockets and you've got the Warriors, but again, no Iguodala and not a full throttle on both sides. Really not the real Warriors either, who we've seen guys turn it on just recently into the postseason. A contrast in styles. They might both shoot a lot of threes, but it's ball movement versus isolation, which we saw a lot yesterday, letting Chris Paul get to those 41 points. Be interesting to see how it matches up. A lot of people have questioned whether or not the Warriors are as excited as we are. That answer came last night. I asked the cream of the crop in the Western Conference, and in order to get to the finals, uh, we got to elevate our game, and that's that's what we we enjoy about you know the playoffs in this moment and this stage. And I think it's it's hard. And, uh, Coach Kerr always says it was why you pour champagne on your head when you walk in the locker room after you win a championship because of how hard it is every step of the way. So we've been there. We know what to do. Time to do it. Man, we won two championships in three years. We're not about to run off talking about how bad we want to play somebody. Like we want to win another championship. And it don't matter who's in the way of that. If you're in the way of that, then you happen to be in the way. But, you know, we're not about to run around like, yeah, we want to play them in the conference finals for what? Like, it don't matter to us who we play. However, we got them. All right, now let's get it. Let's, we get to it now. But it makes no sense for us to run around, we want them as bad as they want us for what? Uh, I'll tell you what, Daryl Moore is ready. Little rock em, sock em robots. Looks, it looks like an even match. Question is, will it be even when they match up in this series? We're all excited for this. No offense to the Pelicans, the Jazz, or anybody else. So let's get from the coaching standpoint first. We've got two totally different offenses in terms of the way they score their many points. What's your take on the contrast in styles and maybe the difficulties that each team might have with the other fish? Yes, no, definitely different styles, uh, but they've obviously both had great regular seasons and are great at what they do. The Houston Rockets in isolation, big switching on to guards, Harden or Chris Paul in this situation. Derek Favors shading him to his left hand, which you want to do with Chris Paul, but Chris has really been aggressive. Any separation, he's pulling up and taking his three and making them at a high percentage. And here, great vintage Chris Paul going through on the baseline, and then just that little move to get separation from the big and stepping into that three-point shot. On the other side with the Warriors, switching smaller players onto Durant. Durant picks his spots and just rises up over the top of the defense. And here's where they really differ. Ball movement and player movement. Ball starts on one side, you go into the post. Another pass, Klay Thompson continuing to move without the ball, stressing out your defense. And so one team is really throwing haymakers mm -hmm. in the isolations and then the other boxer is really jabbing you setting you up with multiple combination moves and the question is going to be which fighter is going to blink first and typically we won't find out until somebody gets hit and we'll find out on Monday night. It's a lot prettier style, I think, when you look at Golden State. I think on the outside, laymen like myself might look at it and say, well, maybe that's easier. If you can move the ball, get open shots, are the Rockets going to be able to get as much of that isolation basketball as they saw the first couple of rounds in the way they want it against Golden State? Yeah, I think you can always get isolation basketball. I think the trick is going to be now is you have a team in the Golden State Warriors who defend. And I like the Houston Rockets because in the past, I used to always have the question mark, can they get stops when the game is ugly? Can they get stops when they need it? And they can now, the Houston Rockets. It comes down to me right now, that style of the Houston Rockets, yes, they're going to put up a lot of points. But for me, is I'm not getting in foul trouble if I'm stationary on the offside with Derek Fisher, who doesn't move. Yeah. So now, obviously, if those guys making shots, then you're going to have a nightmare. But I'm not getting in foul trouble because all I have to do is do this and come back and contest. And if they're knocking down shots, you can lose. But I just feel that movement right now is like the triangle. When you have movement, I mean, I got to grab fish. Fish gets, <laughs> it gets in the bonus. So I think that's where the Houston Rockets going to have to be really good. 
you know, because when you have three or four guys stationary, because a lot of times the pick and roll, high pick and roll, is Capella and either Harden or Chris Paul. The other three guys are just standing, and that sometimes can be tough. Steph got, what, four games, right? So you got some work under his belt, probably some rust. Do you think he's ready for what's in front of him here? Physically? Yes, I, I do believe he's ready. Uh, he played 37 minutes last night in the closeout game against the Pelicans. I think even the pace of the three games that he did play in really was able to work his conditioning uh, back up to a high level quickly. And then with these days in between game five last night, game one of the Western Conference Finals, for sure a couple practices continuing to prepare his body and his mind for this. But it's really a mental game at this point anyway. Uh, and so I think that Steph mentally is really ready to go out there and, you know, take another run at a Western Conference championship. I, I know you're, you guys ready. Joe, we ready. I can sit down uh, and watch TV. I, well. I know one thing. We're ready. <laughs> Are you at home 